Hello friends, today we will discuss about bubble sorting algorithm. This is one of the simplest sorting algorithm available. In this algorithm we will try to compare between the, the element what you are trying to sort with the next element. And if the first element is greater than the next element we will try to swap between these two elements. And this in this sorting algorithm we will try to iterate the provided list of elements two times. So in this screen we have a bunch of numbers, so we will try to sort in ascending order and by a little bit tweaking you can order is a descending order if you wish so. So after sorting in ascending order the 8 after sorting will come in the first, first element and 32 will come in the last. And to start the ordering or sorting we have to pick this first element 22. And then we have to pick the element as 8. Then we will try to compare between 22 and 8. If 22 is greater than 8, in this case yes, then we will swap or we will extend the position in the array between 22 and 8. So 8 will become the first element and 22 will become the next element. Similarly, the next pass will compare between the 22 with the next element, in this case 30, 13. And uh, because 22 again greater than 13, we'll again move this 22 with, with the place of 13. So if you see in this example, 13 and 22 swap the number, swap their position. And again, between the 22 and 32, we'll try to compare. In this case, 22 is not greater than 32. Yeah, 32 is already in a uh, greater than 22, so we have no need to swap it. But this iteration will keep on continuing. It won't stop and we won't start from the beginning number of person 8. Because the agenda or the intention behind this bubble sorting algorithm in each pass or in each iteration, we have to find this biggest number at the end. Then only the first iteration will be completely successful. That's why now we'll select this 32 as a, our index element or the selected element. Then we'll try to compare with the next element. In this example, 32 will be compared with the 13. Because 32 is greater than 13, so we will swap the position between 32 and 13. So and 32 after the swapping will be in the end of the element and we got our first element as a sorted order. This is very important to understand. Once we 22 find the position, uh, 22 is not sorted, but the 32 is sorted. So in the first pass, we whatever the biggest number will be gone to the end okay now once we uh, do the iteration one iteration then again we will start with the number element 8 and 8 we will try to compare with the next element 13 because 8 is not greater than 13 so there is no swap swap will happen but the iteration will keep on continuing it won't stop the iteration okay now we will compare between 13 and 22 because our priority would be to find the next biggest number in, the, in its right position. Now we will uh, pick the 13 and 22 will compare, no swapping will happen. Now we will compare between 22 and 13. In this case we need to swap it and 22 will be the its final position. Now 22 and 32 are both sorted. Again we will start the iteration 18, 13. There is no need to match anything, 13, 13, there is no, both are equal, so no need to swap. And we can find the 13 number. And also, in this case, we no need to compare between 8 and 13 again and again, because there we can do some kind of optimization or some check, like if at this moment already the array is sorted. Because if there is no swap, swapping is needed, that means there is no, already there is sorted. If swapping is needed, then only we have to keep on iterating. That I will show in the example in the code. So in this case, we see in 18 and 32, there is no swapping in needed. 13 is our sorted array. And hence, 8 also sorted. So after end of this uh, iteration, so we got like, you know, a sorted array. So the important point is to note is that we have to in each iteration we have to find that largest number and try to keep it to the top right so the sorting achieve in the ascending order 
Now let's see an example in a JavaScript code. So I have written a simple bubble sort algorithm. This is you can run in a JavaScript or I am using TypeScript. TypeScript is not very required, but it is uh, good to programming practice in these days to use TypeScript rather than using the JavaScript. So only if you here, if you see, let me try to change it to let here we have an array with the same number what we are shown in the screen in that animation just before and we are calling this bubble sort and we are trying to print it and remember this sort will update this original array the, the bubble sort the way we implemented we, we have not implemented in an immutable fashion we are updating this original array, you know. So once we uh, call this function bubble sort, then output would be sorted array. Now just run it before we dive into the code. So it is sorted array. I am using a deno runtime which is a bit easier to run the TypeScript directly. We don't need to compile it. And you can use Node.js or you can write some simple JavaScript program. The logic would be remain exactly same. But if you want to use TypeScript for your learning, that is a good, uh, you know, investment. So here we provided the type number as an array, because if you try to pass like a string number, so it, compiler will complain that we have to pass only the number. So we can't pass string. And if you see that the original array is modified, we have not assigned this output of this bubble sort to another variable right so the only the original array is modified it is not immutable and uh, if you see this this is the variable we are keeping track of it just to optimize it so that uh, if there is no swapping is needed again in that future because then already this program is sorted and here we iterating between i equal to 0 to the less than array length, it will cover the, all the elements. This one by one, it will iterate 22, 8, 13, so, and so on. So you can use this as a, some different variable, but in nowadays V8 engine is so you know powerful. So that is a micro optimization. It, anyway, it will cache it internally. So it won't calculate all the time. But if you really want to assign it to some variable, you are free to do that. If you see here, inside the for loop, we are looping it again. So we are picking one element i equal to 0%, 22 we are picking. Then again, we are starting j equal to 0. Then again, we will starting with the same index 0 uh, element. And we will try to compare between the next element again and again. Right? So in this loop, we are comparing it. And this I'll come to a little bit later. What is the significance of this swapping? Okay. So if the array index j is greater than the next element, that means 22 is greater than is 8. Yes. Then we have to swap between those two elements. Otherwise, we, we have to loop to the next element because this if, condi if condition only we have meant, uh, implemented the logic. If both are not uh, same, then we don't need to do anything. And inside the swapping, we can do swapping in a different, different way. But I am using this uh, net little trick using this array destructuring syntax. Here, if you give it like array a, b. And instead, uh, in, uh, in the left hand side, you can assign it to BA. Then it will swap between those two elements. We don't need to use any temporary variable for swapping purpose. So if you here, if you see array, this is the next element. And this is the current element. We are assigning the next element with the current element and vice versa. And if this if condition is uh, executed, that means swapping is done, right? So we no need to break anything. We have to continue this loop again. Then again, if the 12, 8, 8 swap to it, then again, 8, 22 will compare with the 13. If there is a swap needed, it will swap it. 
so it will it will ensure that that uh, 32 in this pass will be in the next uh, at the last position and uh, and the, uh, let me execute this code uh, let me debug it uh, put some console.log just to see that how this uh, logic implemented yeah see for the zero element we got this 22 element is the first element and uh, it is just printing this original array and in the second iteration this 32 would be that uh, you know in the last position and in the next iteration 22 would be the uh, second element and after that because we, at this moment we are not swapping anymore after 13 next 13 so we we can break this loop if there is no swapping that means already this array is already sorted order so just to summarize in the bubble sort we have been using this variable just to optimize this program a little bit better so we have made this original uh, original loop it will loop through each individual element it will ensure that we are looping through individual element and inside that we are making this uh, loop here exactly we have to implement uh, that logic we just compare there with the next element if it is uh, first element is greater than next element we will swap or if uh, there is no swapping is needed then we will break this original main loop so then that uh, already sorted if you want to have that uh, descending order or that largest number in the beginning you can just change this uh, greater than to less than symbol and if you run it see the sorting criteria is uh, in a descending order 32 22 13 and so on this is very much helpful to understand how is quickly easily we can you know translate this ascending or descending order i hope you learned something today have a good day bye bye